Welcome back to your home garage and in this video I'm going to show you how to check your automatic transmission fluid and the only items you're going to need are a pair of gloves and a paper towel. Most vehicle owners know that in order to keep their ride roadworthy they need to stay up to date with routine maintenance such as oil changes and tire replacement. But you should also keep tabs on your automatic transmission. Keeping your transmission humming smoothly will pay dividends as it's one of the most expensive components on your car to replace or repair. Thankfully, checking your transmission fluid isn't very difficult. Just as your engine uses oil to lubricate and cool its internals, automatic transmission uses specially designed transmission fluid for the same purpose. Conventional automatic transmissions, dual clutch automatics, and continuously variable automatic transmissions each use a special type of transmission fluid. If you're unsure which fluid to use in your transmission, consult your owner's manual, but typically transmission fluid requirements can be found in the specifications section. You don't need to be a mechanic to gain insight into the condition of your vehicle's transmission. A simple visual check will do. And what you're looking at is the level and condition of your transmission fluid. First, locate the transmission dipstick, which can be found under the hood in the engine compartment. If your vehicle's front wheel drive, the transmission fluid dipstick is sticking out the transaxle towards the front of the engine. And make sure you're locating the transmission dipstick and not the oil dipstick. The transmission dipstick is usually found in the back of the engine bay, towards the firewall if it's a rear wheel drive vehicle. The transmission dipstick is typically marked with a special color or a transmission symbol. If you can't find the dipstick, don't be alarmed. Many modern vehicles use a seal for life transmission that never requires checking or fluid replacement, so they don't have a dipstick. So it's always best to refer back to your owner's manual for your model specific service schedule and to double check whether your vehicle has a transmission dipstick. If your vehicle has a sealed transmission, you could close the hood and just move on. But if your vehicle does have a transmission dipstick, then here's how to check it. Start off with turning your vehicle on. Bring it up to operating temperature and leave the car idling in park on a level surface. With the engine at operating temperature, now go ahead and turn it off, as recommended for this Honda Odyssey, to check the fluid level, because your hands are just way too close to moving parts, such as the fan. Now that it's warmed up and at park and on a level surface, it's perfect. So with my camera on the tripod, you're gonna to wanna to pull out that yellow dipstick that I showed you, and very similar to checking your oil, the first time you pull out that dipstick, you're going to want to wipe it clean. Then replace it slowly and of course carefully, and then pull it back out. Now we'll be able to check the fluid level. And what you're looking for is how high the fluid comes up on the dipstick against the full and low or fill marks on the dipstick. And you can check it as many times as you want for a better average. And it might be really difficult for the camera to pick up, but my level seems to be just below the top mark. And flip the dipstick around if that provides a better visual, just like I did. And make sure to check your vehicle specs on how to properly check the transmission fluid. For the vast majority, it'll be while the vehicle is running or at least at hot, but turned off. Some vehicles, such as my F-150, have both a cold and hot reading, so I don't need to warm up the engine. I can't stress safety enough, so please just focus on the task at hand when working with a running or a hot engine. Now on the white paper towel, you're able to analyze the color of the fluid. The condition of your transmission fluid, and to some extent the transmission itself, is indicated by the color of the fluid. 
If your fluid is healthy, it should have a reddish pink color. If it's getting to the point where it's needing a replacement, it'll be brownish red. If the fluid is dark brown or black, then it's quite possible you'll be replacing more than just your fluid. Dark fluid with a burnt smell is bad news. In the worst case, you might find fine metal shavings in the fluid as well. Both of these symptoms point to possible damage of your transmission internal components. Also dip the tip of your index finger into the fluid on the dipstick and rub it between your finger and the tip of your thumb. If you feel metal particles, then consult a reputable service station. If your fluid is low, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're headed towards disaster, but it does most likely mean that there's a leak somewhere in the system. Filling up the transmission fluid and then checking it daily to see how quickly the level goes down can be a good way to assess the severity of the potential leak. Also try to visually inspect your transmission by looking under the vehicle for any fluid oozing out of it. As an example, does your car leave spots of reddish fluid on the ground after it's parked? If you notice some transmission fluid loss or observe that your transmission is using an abnormal amount of fluid, just contact a mechanic as soon as you can. A transmission fluid replacement will not destroy an older vehicle's aging transmission. Typically, when a transmission suddenly has issues after a fluid replacement, it's because there was already an internal problem, such as a worn clutch pack. If your transmission is healthy, then a fresh change of fluid will only help its longevity. If your transmission fluid is low and needs topping off, then that's usually done through the same tube that the dipstick fits in. Adding fluid, which you'll be able to get at your local auto parts store, will require a funnel with a narrow and most likely a very long spout. And that's how easy it is to check your automatic transmission fluid. Now go have some fun and try tackling it yourself. So make sure you help to keep this channel going by hitting that like button, sharing this video with a friend, and please comment below as I reply to all, plus don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time on your home garage.